So this is the look I'm going to be showing you how to do today. I am absolutely in love with it. It's kind of, um, I don't know, grungy. Don't know. Um, let me get in close so you can see. I don't know, I just wanted something dark and smoky and super dramatic and super, yeah. Um, in the tutorial, I'm actually trying to ombre two lip colors. This is the LA Splash Lip Couture in Ghoulish. And I'm trying to ombre it with the one that I'm wearing, um now in untamed and while it came out okay um i still gotta work on it so i'm just wearing untamed right now but you'll see both in the tutorial so if you want to know how i got this look just keep watching hey guys so i already actually did my face makeup um because well I just did it first. So we're going to go ahead. I already primed my eyelid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the palette that we're going to use is the Morphe. I guess it's fairly new. The 35C. These shades are all matte, which I thought was perfect for this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. The only thing is the brow highlight shade is... It's not, they don't have any good ones in that palette. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And this is the Lorac Single Shadow in the shade Bone. And I'm going to go ahead and place that actually right under my brow bone. Because it's giving the highlight some life. If you already did your face first, um, by us doing such a heavy dark look, make sure you tap off your... Um, tap off the excess because you don't want a lot of fallout on your face I had a little teeny 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 bit that i just fixed real quick with some powder or whatever but let's go ahead so i'm going to start by placing down which i'm actually really liking this shade here as like a transition color so i'm going to go in with this fluffy brush i'm actually going to use this brush for a lot of the colors i'm going to go in with this fluffy brush and start to put that right in the upper crease, touching the brow highlight, really um, putting that there. I don't know. I kind of thought about this look before I went to bed last night. And I know I don't do... I don't know. I think I do... I know I don't do a lot of, like, everyday looks. But I don't think I did anything this dramatic in a while. So, and I was just really in love with it. And I wanted to wear it today. And I'm not really going anywhere, but taking my grandma to the grocery store. <laughs> So we're going to put that like in a C formation really um, to, yeah, you guys see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go in with this shade, which is, where am I? I'm going to go in with this shade, which is a little bit more red. It's probably coming off pink on camera, but it's more red. And I'm going to put a layer of that over, ooh, almost dropped it, over top of the burgundy that I just put down. Just a layer of it and really blend it across, okay? So, for the black, I actually put this pencil down first, and I didn't mean to because it has glitter in it, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Wait a minute, this is not the one. I'm going to go ahead and use it first. So, I'm going to put down a little bit of the Milani Shadow Eyes in Charming Black, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lid. See how it has a little bit of glitter in it? Not using a lot of that, because right over that, I'm going to put the... LA Girl HD Pro Prime, and this is in just black. I don't think it has a name. And so I'm putting that over, um, right over the lid. All right. I'm just going to take my finger and sort of smudge it, blend it out over the lid. As best as you can, you know? Okay. So then, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This is um, the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And I'm going to go into this black. There are two matte blacks. They're the same thing. I swatched them both. So go into a black, a matte black, and we're going to put this over the lid. The glitter from that other shadow, from the shadow stick, is still going to um, show through. So, And I'm packing the black on. I really am. Because that's what this is about, honey. Okay? 
So you got your black one, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in, this is the Morphe M505 like blending eye brush, which I'm really into. And I'm gonna go back into the red shade and I'm gonna use that to blend the black into the blown out burgundy situation. So on the edges of the black, I'm gonna go ahead and you can, um, like if you wanna use a larger brush to really spread this black out, feel free. But I'm going to go ahead and use this brush, which is doing all right for me. Um, just really got to blend it. See how I got that outer part blended? But I'm um, going to go back in your red as much as you can, however you want to do it. So, uh, And we're really going to blend it. As you can see, I'm heavy-handed with my eye blending. So... This is what I do. I really want the black to be diffused out and like that. Okay. Okay, now at this step is where I just feel like they're uneven. I'm gonna put a little bit more red up here. I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Liner in Perversion. And I'm going to tight line because I really want this look to be dark. Sorry if that's, this is freaking you out. I don't know, my contact probably moved and it's pretty gross. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> so we have that. All right. And then the lower lash line is really, really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some perversion again, which needs to be sharpened. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to put that on the waterline. Put that on the waterline just like that. And then underneath of that, I'm going to go in. I have um, two brushes. I'm using my Real Techniques Precision, this little flat, what is this called? Accent brush. And then this pencil brush from Royale and Lang Nickel. And I'm going to go in with the accent brush first. And I'm going to go into the black. And I'm going to, I don't want to say smudge, but put that black underneath of the waterline right in the lower lash line and bring it all the way sorry went out of frame there bring it all the way across all the way across the lower lash line just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and back into the red shade with mm, you can't see that back into the red shade with the pencil brush and I'm going to just smudge that and put that right underneath of the black I just I don't know if this is called necessarily a grunge look but um in the case you haven't noticed I took out my Ashley piercing um I have a whole video up as to why and since I only had it for like two months there was a hole there last night as soon as I took it out. And then this morning, the hole was gone. I can still see a little imprint of where the hole was, but it's pretty much gone. So you see that? Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but at this point is where I put the glue on my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. The lashes that I'm wearing, these are the Risqué. They're Coco lashes. Um, These lashes are, get, are like all lashes, too short for my eyes. Um... But we'll make that work. So let me put the glue on my lashes and I'll tell you the next step. Okay, so I'm letting this glue, while this glue is setting, I'm going to go ahead. Why can I never find material? Material. Or I either drop them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to curl my lashes with my eyelash curler. You can do this before or after eyeliner. 
on the other eye. I did it after eyeliner, but I just forgot my eyeliner. So I'm going to do the City Color Bold Liner in just a quick line. Not, not I'm going to say not no wing. I'm not doing a wing or anything like that. Just something that the um, falsies can sit on. So I'm going to go ahead and give my eye a little liquid liner. Just like that. And one thing about this look, if you mess up with your liner, it's not really going to be able to notice. So then I'm going to pile on the mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm going to pile on the mascara because the lashes, like I said, are really short as far as the band, like, length across. So I really got to make up for the space with no falsies with more mascara. Let me know down below if you like more talk-through tutorials, like me live talking or voiceovers. Or do you like a mixture of both, depending on the look? As I get mascara. Oh, of course, I did my lower lashes, too. As I get mascara <laughs> on my face. Don't worry. We can get rid of that. So, we're going to go ahead and apply our falsies. Sorry if I'm out of frame because, well, still haven't gotten the hang of that yet. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, so while we're letting our glue dry, I'm going to just show you how I uh, finish my face. Why does my face look so scary right now? Anyway, I'm going to go in with this blush. This is number 63 from Inglot. Just a little bit. Um, a little bit goes a long way with these blushes. And that's going to go on the cheeks. And I'm kind of going to put it in a very, very straight-like pattern. <sighs> if that made any sense. Which, you see how that is, like, a lot. So, I'm going to go in with a powder and fix that real quick. Mm -hmm. Whatever, it'll work today gonna have to work today and then I'm gonna highlight with this is the um don't say pink baked highlight blush from Milani don't know if it's a highlight or a blush but it's going on my face it's going on my face so for the lips I'm trying something new for the first time, um, I'm going to use two LA Splash Lip Coutures. Um, I'm going to start with Untamed. I line my lips with the Nobby Lip Liner in Burgundy. And I'm going to move quick because these dry. So I'm going to go ahead and... Start with Untamed. Start with Untamed, like so, and then I'm going to add Ghoulish to the center of the lip. Of course, you got to blend them together.
Sorry about that, guys. So, I may change the lip. I may change it. I may not. But for now, that's what we have going on. So and I'll just put there my hair go. down. And that is it for this look. So let me know what you think. I know it's super, super cool, super, super grungy. I think it is personally. But let me know what you think. And um I hope you guys like it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye.